That's right, Doug. But we're going to emphasize the fun here because I've got to say, Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue is a very fun event. And as Doug mentioned, it kicked off today here in downtown Rogers and will be running through Saturday. And there's fun for the whole family here. But I'm not alone. I'm here with KNWA reporter Kylie Neal. And Kylie, we roared in maybe about an hour and a half ago, and there's so much to see here. Yeah, I mean, that's right. Between the music that's going on right across the way here and the trains, I feel like a lot of people are still kind of strolling by here right past the Harley Davidson. Right. There's a lot of lemonade stands and stuff behind me. I mean, we heard from Hype Coffee earlier. Yes, we did. So this is not just an event for bikers. It's an event for the whole family. So if you've been in Northwest Arkansas for a while, chances are you're very familiar with this event. But if you're new like I am, as Doug mentioned, this is the largest charity motorcycle rally in the world. And all the proceeds from this event go to nonprofits around Northwest Arkansas. And it attracts a bunch of people, Kylie. Thousands of people every year make the trek to our area just to enjoy the fun. Yeah, no, it's supposed to be a lot of fun going into this weekend. Of course, there's a lot of riders out on the road, but I mean, right. there's a lot to worry about, especially with safety. Right. With all the people coming to our area, safety is top of mind for local law enforcement. Yeah, safety is the number one thing on these law enforcement's minds here. It's the number one priority for lots of police agencies around Northwest Arkansas. I spoke to the Rogers Police Department today who say that they're working hand in hand with multiple agencies across Arkansas. I mean, this is a very exciting time of year for the city of Rogers. Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue is back in Rogers starting Wednesday. Peter Masonis is the public relations manager for the city of Rogers. He says this event is going to have the same amount of motorcyclists in the area as last year, and the number one priority is safety. Overall, you know, talking with PD, with the size of the event and the amount of cyclists that are actually in the area, the amount of um, motorcycle incidents was actually fairly low percentage-wise. Uh, Masonis says that Rogers Police Department has been working with the city to ensure the safety of the influx of cyclists on the road. Don Lisi is the public information officer for the Rogers Police Department. He says that the department is prepared for bikes, blues, and barbecue. Well, we're going to have an increased officer presence at the event, which is going to be located primarily downtown Rogers. Rogers Police is working with other local agencies as well, making sure every corner is covered. As far as coordinating with other agencies, you know, we obviously want to make sure we're all on the same page. Uh, command staffs from each individual agency, from, you know, between us and Benton County Sheriff's Office. Lisi says that the Rogers Police Department is communicating with other agencies to make sure that traffic flows well and that the cyclists are safe. You know, we just make sure that, you know, we cross all our T's, dot our I's, make sure everybody's on the same page to uh, make sure the traffic flows best as it can and to make sure that we have support in areas that we need. Masonis says that this event is huge for the city and they want everyone to have a great time while also keeping safety in mind. We're just trying to serve the community better um, and make this as safe event as possible. Well, you know, Sonia, with all of the people and the influx of riders that are going to be here in downtown Rogers, there's going to be a few road closures on a few of the main streets. And, you know, going into this weekend, we'll hear about more of those from the police. Right, and there is also more details about those closures on our website, knwa.com, so you guys can head over there for more information. But right now, Kylie, um, the downtown Rogers area is pretty lively, but the traffic really isn't that terrible. But I know this is the first day of the event. We still have a few days ahead of us, and there are so many events on their schedule here. Oh, yeah. You know, I even tried some lemonade earlier that's right across the way here, and it was actually really good. And it's actually kind of cooling off a little bit, so it is nice to have something on ice. Yeah, now is the time to head out here. There's still for the whole family. There's food trucks, there's inflatables, there's live music, so you definitely don't want to miss it. And for the schedule of events for the rally, check out bikesbluesandbarbecue.com. That's where you can see everything that's going on this weekend. But Doug, I've got to say, I feel pretty lucky. We're out here on these comfortable bikes and you're there in the studio. Uh, you should feel special. Bikers don't let just anybody sit on their bikes, right? I think we all know that. So uh, doing something right out there. But they didn't give us the keys. They didn't give us the keys, We're though. still waiting on them. There's a limit. <laughs> All right, uh, John and Punch from Chips live in Rogers.